Gyar, be seen four in the oceans. Hi, I'm Naomi, and here's what the world would look like if everyone had the face of a blobfish. Adorable. Anyway, the blobfish is just one of the many interesting creatures living below the sea around Australia. In fact, if you were to jump into the ocean along much of Australia's east coast, swim out roughly 100 kilometres and then down a few thousand metres, you'd find plenty more in Australia's eastern abyss. abyss. A recent world first exploration of the abyss on board the CSIRO research vessel Investigator has found all sorts of unusual Australians down there like the cookie-cutter shark that takes cookie-sized mouthfuls out of its prey. Whatever this weird faceless thing is, this one that we should probably just steer well clear of, and a bunch more, including blood-red zombie worms and a herd of sea pigs, which I'll tell you about later. So what's lurking in the Aussie deep? Let's go on a little voyage to find out. The Australian Eastern Abyss sits around 100 kilometres off the east coast and stretches from below Tasmania to the Coral Sea in the north. Found at depths between 3,000 and 6,000 metres, abyssal plains are the largest habitat on the planet, covering 54% of the Earth's entire surface and around a third of Australia's marine territory. Until now, almost nothing was known about life in the Australian Abyss. I spoke to the scientists who went on the month-long journey from Tasmania up to Queensland on the Investigator. I hear you are the queen of sea pigs. I do love sea pigs. I can't help myself. <laughs> what is a sea pig? Okay, a sea pig is actually a kind of sea cucumber. So sea cucumbers are echinoderms, so they're related to things like sea stars and sea urchins. But in the deep sea, a lot of sea cucumbers actually look like little sea pigs. The best way to explain them is they just look like little pink footballs. And you can sometimes see through them and you can see their intestines and you can see that filling up with the mud. And I just love them because they've got a little bit of character. The most exciting thing for me as a scientist was finding sea cucumbers. And there are lots of different kinds of sea cucumbers in the abyss. I also saw this amazing giant purple sea cucumber with what looked like a shark fin off the top of it. It was really cool. I had um, swimming sea cucumbers and the sea cucumbers that live on, so on, the, on the ocean floor. And then I had other ones that like to poop and take off and then land again. So I had all different kinds of sea cucumbers. So it was kind of cool. So recently I was on the Sampling the Abyss expedition. So we were really lucky. We went on the RV Investigator, which is the big um, blue water uh, research vessel for Australia. And it's this giant ship. It's absolutely huge and it's fantastic. And we send down equipment off the back of the ship. So we were sending down things like scientific trawls and scientific leads and nets and just collecting samples from 4,000 metres down. So what happens once they pull it back up? Oh my goodness, once they pull it up to the top, you should see the scientists waiting. Everyone is so excited. <laughs> so these animals are coming up from, as I said, from 4,000 metres. At 4,000 metres, it's one degree down there, and they're coming up through warmer water. So often the animals don't look great by the time they get to the top. But when they're cocooned in this beautiful freezing cold mud, they come up looking fantastic. So we'd wash off the mud and you get all these like random orange fin and purple leg and something else poking out. And then you just get to reveal these amazing creatures that no one's seen before. So such a cool thing. <laughs> There's still plenty more to discover down in the deep ocean. Luckily, our brave deep sea investigators are helping figure it all out. See you again on our next voyage. That's what they look like, they're like. <laughs>